Hello everybody, hola a todos. This is Medical Spanish with Michael, and I'm Michael, an experienced medical Spanish interpreter and tutor that wants to help you learn medical Spanish. So before we get started with this information about the Pfizer vaccine in Spanish, uh, I just want to say that I got this information from the CDC's website around mid to late December, so just keep that in mind while you're watching the video. Also, this information is not medical advice and solely intended to teach medical Spanish. So, without out of the way, empecemos. Let's get started. So, one of the most common questions that you'll probably get asked is, when will I receive the vaccine? So, if you're listening for this in Spanish, you'll probably listen for something like, uh, ¿Cuándo puedo recibir la vacuna? which is cuando puedo is when can I recibir to receive and then the vaccine is la vacuna cuando puedo recibir la vacuna you might also hear them ask a question like uh, when am I going to receive the vaccine so that would just change to cuando voy a recibir la vacuna um, so instead of puedo uh, the patient would just say something like voy a so you can listen for that too so you all probably know better than i do but according to the cdc's website it just says sometime in 2021 um, for adults at least so in spanish what you could say is um they actually they don't say 2021 uh, they literally say 2021 uh, which would be dos mil veintiuno dos mil veintiuno um, so the short answer to this question would be en dos mil veintiuno uh, and if you want to say sometime uh, in 2021 you could say en algún momento en dos mil veintiuno this is sometime in 2021 so if you want to add some more before that um, to make it like a proper complete sentence, then what you could do is say, uh, you probably will receive the vaccine and then continue with that um, essential information. So what would, it would, excuse me, what it would look like is usted probablemente recibirá la vacuna um, and this is you um, will probably receive the vaccine and then you can finish it with that essential part which is en algún momento en 2021 and you could also say uh, I don't know when uh, which would be no sé cuándo no sé is I don't know so you could say I don't know when no sé cuándo uh, and then you could also say like I'm sorry uh, lo siento and if you want to make that a complete sentence then what you could say is but I don't know when specifically so that would be pero no sé cuando específicamente lo siento and if the patient is a child you might hear their parent ask um, when can my son or daughter receive the vaccine which would be in Spanish cuando puede mi hijo o hija recibir la vacuna so again most of you probably know more than i do uh, but according to the cdc's website there isn't uh, specific information about a vaccine for young children so what you could say is they don't know yet uh, i'm sorry so in spanish this would be uh, no se sabe todavía lo siento and the second common question that patients might ask you is how many doses will I need? So in Spanish, this would be uh, ¿Cuántas dosis necesitaré? Uh, how many doses will I need? Uh, instead of doses, they might say injections. Uh, ¿Cuántas inyecciones um, necesitaré? ¿Cuántas inyecciones necesitaré? So the short answer you could say is two doses, uh, which is dos dosis. Say that five times fast. Dos dosis, dos dosis, dos dosis, dos dosis, dos dosis, dos dosis. 
So, um, anyways, you could say, uh, if you want to say a longer version, um, then you could say, uh, you will need two doses. So this would be, usted necesitará dos dosis. Um, I can't say that without laughing now. And then you would say, um, with the, the second one, three weeks later. So you could say, la segunda, the second one, uh, tres semanas después. Um, and putting that all together, you could say, usted necesitará, I'm not going to say that, um, dos dosis con la segunda, uh, tres semanas después de la primera, after the first one. And if and when other vaccines are approved um, for use, then just don't forget to change these time frames, like the number of weeks, number of doses, um, just so that they match the dosing schedule. So a third common question that you might have patients ask you is, are there any side effects? So in Spanish to say this, uh, they would say, hay efectos secundarios. So in Spanish, instead of saying uh, side effects, they say secondary effects um, would be the literal translation back to English. Um, so hay efectos secundarios or instead of using the verb hay, which is to say there is or there are, um, they might use a verb like uh, llevar, so which means to take or to carry. They might say something like lleva efectos secundarios which means, does it carry any side effects with it? So the short answer to this question is possibly, uh, which in Spanish you could just say posiblemente. Uh, and you could say they uh, can be similar to flu symptoms. And so in Spanish that would be um, pueden parecerse. This means they can be similar. Um, pueden parecerse a los síntomas, the symptoms, de la influenza. And then you can say, but they should disappear in a few days. So in Spanish that would be, uh, pero deberían, but they really should, desaparecer en unos días, disappear in a few days. And finally you could say, this is normal, so esto es normal. Or for the longer version, you could say this is a normal indication, pero esto es una indicación normal. Uh, and then you could say that your body is building up immunity. Que su cuerpo está desarrollando, is developing. Uh, Inmunidad. Uh, make sure you pronounce that with uh, I-N-M and not a double M um, like in English. So we say inmunidad. Alright, so those are three of the most common questions that you can expect um, to hear as a provider during this weird, stressful time. Um, great job getting through the lesson though. If there is any other information about the vaccine that you would like to get translated into Spanish, then please leave that in the comments and I'll be more than happy to comment back and translate it for you. Thank you for taking the time to learn some medical Spanish. I'm sure that your patients will really appreciate it. Um, and also thank you so, so much for your hard work. I'm sure it's been a very stressful and tiring year, um, but great job. I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, gracias y nos vemos.